Hello, Josh. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Good, good. Looking pretty good over there. I love your cartoon. Who is that on your cartoon? Um, Goku, Free Goku and Frieza, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, okay. Look out for my upcoming video this weekend. My upcoming debate, Goku versus Naruto. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So, <laughs> let me first start by asking you a question. How did you get the name Deep Action? Oh, so the name Deep Action came from a time a couple of months ago when me and my friends sat down and started talking about this whole YouTube channel and we just start, we had a whole bunch of creativity, a whole bunch of innovation about this channel and, and taking things to a, you know, a different path. And so how we came up with the name, we just started making, creating names and we just got real creative. You want to and I came, in? Yeah, and I came up with the name, Deep Action. So you got a lot of deep information coming soon. Oh, yeah, a lot. So, why don't you tell me about some of the, the deep action coming that we should stay tuned for? Uh, so some things that you should stay tuned for is December. Because when December comes, the channel is going to take a whole nother different path, a, no, a whole nother different route. Mm. So why is it going to take a different route in December? Because the reason why the reason why it's gonna take a whole another different round December because right now I'm just you know just putting basic things out there so you guys can get to know a little bit more about about my channel and the things I'm gonna be touching on certain topics and subjects. But when it comes to December, I'm gonna show you guys a whole lot like short films, music videos, mm -hmm. animation, and um, peri I, it's a whole lot tutorials. I just can't. I'm gonna show you guys some great content. I just can't wait. Wow, sounds pretty deep to me. All right, well, what are some of the new things that your channel is going to bring when it comes to creativity and innovation? So some new things that it's going to bring when it comes to creativity and innovation is that it's not going, it's not going to be one-dimensional. It's meaning that it's not going to stay, it's not going to just be based upon one, one topic or one subject. It's going to touch on all things that people love because entertainment is everything. It's global right. and it's very universal. So Absolutely. I'm going to have... I'm gonna have I'm actually having two short films come in December, and then I actually have a um a parody video, that a script that I wrote. So, so what is that tuned. parody video going to be about, or you want to keep it a secret? You gotta stay tuned for that. Okay, stay I'm sure tuned. it's going to be pretty deep. Okay, well, what is the purpose of Deep Action? The whole purpose of Deep Action is to basically entertain, showing you guys things that you haven't seen before on a regular basis, meaning that. <laughs> we gonna touch on everything. It's we going it's breaking news, Hollywood news, things that's going on in the movie industry and things that's just going on in the music industry. Right. Everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are some things that you're looking forward to? Oh, that's a good question. That's a hard mm -hmm. question. So I think some things I'm looking forward to is um hmm. Some things I'm looking forward to is showing Doing my photography videos, showing, showing, showing what you, showing you guys what I, what I do from behind the scenes from my, from my world. I'm gonna have photography, editing, cinematography, mythology, anthology, and um, time lapse videos. I'm gonna be doing a whole lot what I'm gonna be doing, and I can't wait to show you guys this great content. I have so much, so much for you guys. So stay tuned. It sounds pretty good. I can't wait. What do you do for a living? So the things, some things that I do for a living, I write scripts, I write screenplays, I am a director, I'm a, I am a screenwriter, and I like, I like directing, I like writing, and I edit people videos, I edit um, people photos for photography, and I do photography on the side, and I do cinematography for my short films, and I just help a lot of people to, because a lot of, I have a lot of customers that have a vision, and so as my job as a mm -hmm. filmmaker, it's my job to put that vision on the big screen. So I direct it. Okay, so you know I'm pretty familiar and a fan of your work. Cause oh, you've yeah. been collaborating on some things that will be coming soon. But can you tell tell your audience about some of your work? Explain one of your short films to them. I mean I heard an interest I heard several interesting ones, but I think you should try to share one. Um <laughs> I'm so right now and since I'm in directing too and I go to Los Angeles Film School in Hollywood. So I'm working on this script right now, which is a drama. And it's about a kid who has a lot of insecurities and flaws about himself. And he, he goes to school and he's a nerd and he gets bullied a lot. And he just, 
he just wants a friend. That's his goal because the whole the whole the whole goal of the protagonist is to have a goal, something that he wants. He has to have something. And that's what draws the attention, the intensity and the suspense. So the whole purpose of that is that all he wants is a friend, something that he can relate to, but he can't have that. It's hard for him because he has a lot of insecurities and flaws about himself and he gets bullied at school. So the thing is, he tries to change his whole pers his whole persona, his characteristics, and his image. Wow. And he actually does. But in the long run, it's a process that he grows through and he damages a lot of people that he loves. Wow, wow, wow. Can't see. Can't wait to see it. Yeah. Looking forward to that as well. What made you want to be in the entertainment industry? The reason why I wanted to be in the, inter um, the entertainment industry is because as a kid, I always loved movies, and I always wanted. I was always had an interest of what goes on behind the scenes. What's the process behind it? Mm. That's why I'm so interested. That's why I'm in the entertainment industry. And another reason why I like um, why I'm in the entertainment industry because it's a positive thing. I like entertaining people. I love making people laugh. It's like medicine. It's like a cure. Right. So that's why I love what I do. Wow. Okay. Well, what drives you? The thing that drives me is my dreams, my hopes, my fears my goals and my just being ambitious that's the only thing that that's what drives me to wake up in the morning that's why i love what i do and i like challenging myself i like pushing myself to the limit and like the thing mm -hmm. that gets me is that when someone tells me i can't do something i laugh and i smile at them because i know i'm gonna go out i'm gonna go out 110 percent do my best and i'm gonna prove you wrong no matter what i don't care who you are that's just the type of person who i am Real life goal getter. I love it. I love it. You gotta love it. Oh, well, what are some things that you want to do in the future? Well, later on, when I become a director and a screenwriter on the elite level, when I have my own A list cinema movie, some things I'm looking forward to other than directing is being an entrepreneur. And I plan to have my um, couple of my businesses. And I plan on starting this one business called Joshua's Production. I'm one day because one day I plan on having my own production company and starting it from the ground and just building it up. Wow, sounds pretty great. And a couple of other things too, but can't talk too much out there. <laughs> can't try, try, gotta try to steal my ideas. Secret. Yeah. <laughs> keep your next move a secret. On that note, if you can inspire anybody, somebody, what would you tell them? Mm, wow, that's a good question. What will I tell them? Mm. So, wow, that's a good question. So, the thing, the fact that I would tell them is that enjoy the process right you got to enjoy the process Absolutely. because as you get older you have kids you have a family you have a wife and you since you love what you do for a living sometimes you a lot of people take what they do for a living for granted and then as you get older people look back and reminisce and get real nostalgic about things i'm like wow i really miss those days so while you win that position and situation that you are in now you have to enjoy it to the fullest because you know tomorrow is not it's not granted to us it's right. it's not so you really gotta love what you do you just gotta enjoy the process the journey of it because it's so it's it's really beautiful you gotta enjoy the beauty and that's the main thing about me like as a filmmaker you're an artist and you gotta enjoy the beauty of it of what you do it's a it's a it's a great thing it's a great thing wow well you know what it's been a very wonderful time spent here today interviewing with you i wish you much success thank you Appreciate i wish it. you all the best blessings to you you are absolutely doing great and i cannot wait to see what the future holds for you and it's been a real 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 blessing to interview with you today thank you thank you for having me Mm -hmm. absolutely and guys look for them look out for my new and upcoming videos coming this weekend Look out for my um, Conor McGregor versus Bruce Lee debate. Look out for my Goku versus Naruto debate. And look out for some, some other things that I got coming. Deep action out.